do I say? Hello, biological mom Hope. My name is Mora. I didn't die at birth. Shut up. No, you shouldn't say shut up. Mora's in a very strange spot. Here she is getting deeper into a relationship with her mother, who doesn't know who she is. You have been so very kind. The kindest of strangers. And with her half-sister, who doesn't know who she is. Kaylin. She's not expecting the crisis that comes up. She's not expecting Hope to say, guess what, my real daughter is dying. She's in desperate need of a kidney transplant. I think it's painful for Jane to watch Mora have to go through this. It's a complicated relationship. Mothers and daughters. Yes, it is. This is a tough scene. I thought all the women were so wonderful, so real. How do you like Boston? I, I miss London. Angela understanding the mother-daughter tension, Jane and Mora feeling for both the daughter and for Hope, Hope being unable to really say what was on her mind, and Kaylin being so closed in. Wait, what? It's not personal. I just would like to be alone. I think the reason that we feel for Mora so much at the end is we know all the things she wants to say and she cannot break through. I want to help you. I don't want your help. And I don't want your kidney either. And that's what gets complicated, is when you can see both sides and you don't know where to land. Nor do they. I'm Patty Doyle's daughter. What? I'm your daughter. Don't say that. And yet, as Kaylin leaves, you see the two of them looking at each other. And Kaylin having this real revelation. I don't think we've ever seen more of that destroyed. And she doesn't know what to say. Out of all the scenarios I thought of, that wasn't one of them. But again, how true to life is that? You don't know the outcome when you walk into a situation. She didn't know how this was going to go. And that makes for great drama. I'm trying to warn you. Family sucks. Blue. No.